Hi everyone, this is Palmenda. Welcome to the next lesson of this day guys where we are going to verify our domain. This is so important guys. Why it is so important since iOS launched their 14, iOS 14, Facebook as restricted to tracking the old customer data basically you have heard that news as well when ios when apple announced their ios 14 then the consumer like you have that option to opt out from the tracking which means any marketing app will not be able to track your data will not able to track your interest behavior demographic what you're looking for right so facebook have the option to track your data as much as facebook can then for that they have an option to get verify your domain so that facebook will able to track maximum data that he can able to do that so this is the process to get verification of your domain so that facebook can track your customers data on your website that's what it means so if you're on the screen guys you remember you have created the base pixel score we already go through with the all pro all process finally we need to verify i hope you will be stick here to get verification if you can it that's absolutely fine i will be tell you how you can do that maximum people they cancel it because i stopped in the way to after the adding the event code right once we add the event code and our events has been fired on the websites through the button or through the um url right after that you need to be get verify your domain that's absolutely fine if you cancel it i'm going to show you um if you cancel it that's fine i'm going to cancel it for you now how you can get verify your domain you have an option guys make sure that you are in the ad manager of your account and in the left side you will be see it here guys in the home section you will be see this business home and once you click on this business home and you need to become again to the business setting and that should be fine too so if you're on the business manager from the business manager you can go through it through the business settings so that you will be able to you will be see this business setting then you will be able to see the whole options where you can get verify your domain i hope you will be understand so here once you open this your business settings in the brand safety option you will be able to see the domain so once you click the domain guys you need to be at the domain here to get it verified remember these things guys first the process first you need to install the base pixels then you need to be set up the events in the third way you need to be get verify your domain right so that's what we are doing right now we need to be click this ad and we will be add our website where we want to be sorry about that where we want to be our we, we want our domain to be get verified so it's wahoo holds short code or nz it's absolutely fine if you do not put the dub 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 should be fine and then you will be going to add it simply that way now you need to be get verified or if you want to be add more domains you can go through with it option but we need to be verified this one now you have three kind of options guys the first option add a meta tag to your html into your head section which is absolutely very easy it is not technically and you can do it by yourself as we did last day how we can install the pixels last to last before day, right so you have the another option um, to download the file and upload into the root directory and dns setting we will be not go through with i will be tell you but we will be recommend to go for this html source code tag they mention you you need to be paste that code into the header section as we did it in the pixels how we um add the pixels into the head the same way we will be going to do it you need to be click this bold section it will be get copied and then you need to be go to your dashboard as we did in last time and then you will be go to the appearance and the theme editor this is the first option or the second option as well guys you can add plugin i will be show you in a minute but before I will be showing you that way it's very easy and get it done because you already know that part so once you come in here you will be see this header.php 
once you click that header.php it will become to your header section you remember we installed that pixel code it here right so it was in the header section you will be see it here it was on the header section that was the code right so you need to what do you need to do be you need to be go on the top of it should be fine or you can put here but make sure that it should be before this tag right so you can put anywhere here i'm going to put it on the top of it here that verification code i have done it so i'm going to upload that file this is the first option and the second option i'm going to show you after this you can just go through it here and get verified domain it should be verified so we'll be see if it's verified once you will be go through with it the facebook will be retract this one and get verified for you within a minute voila it's good to go now this wahoo homes.co.nz has been verified this is the thing you need to do it it's very simple very easy and it needs to be done before tracking your old customers data via facebook that's the option guys now the as i mentioned you what else you can do if you do not want to be changes in your header code what you can do you can go to the plugin section add new plugin right in the plugin option you need to be add a new plugin which is called insert header so you just click on here and search for the plugin insert header this is the option i'm going to give you you can got it this option it's all up to you sorry about that it should be insert right so i'm going to put this one and going to search it again it should be done you can go for this keywords and should be done guys this is the one of the best insert header and footer by wp beginner this is a reliable and you can see that it's one plus million active users installations in it and they they regular update their plugin means this is the fun you can install it once you install it you need to be click on the activate button right it's installed you need to be click on to the activate button once it's been activated guys just take a less than a minute right it will be go to the setting option once you will be in the setting option guy you will be see insert header and footer once you click it guys you will be able to see the options to get it done you can paste the same script code in here in the section of the head and you will be need to save it i already been done i do not need to be do it again but this is the great option for you you can do it plus if you want to be install the facebook pixels you can use that plugin as well it's very simple and good to go for you this is the another option this is the first option you can do it just try to do it would be very easy for you i hope that would be help you out or if you do not have that access for your wordpress you can ask for your dns provider they will be uploaded for you and you can here you can select the other options uh what we need to do is this is the connected asset if you will be go to the add option and um you will be going to select the dns provider option you will be provide the all information to your dns they will be do it for you i hope that will be help you out guys it's very easy simple or if you have another cms as i mentioned in the above videos might be there are lots of people using shopify click funnel leads page thrive architab or any kind of another cms they are using just go to the youtube search for it how you can get verify the domain with the cms name that cms name you need to be enter they will be give you a better option rather than you doing by yourself be careful about this part i hope that would be help you out in the next video i will be show you how you can configure the web event finally you are going to track your customer data and you are going to prioritize accordingly what you are looking for that is the facebook requirement thank you so much in the next video i will be show you finally how you can configure the web event in a easy way i hope that will be help you out thank you so much see you in the next video